earthquakes, tsunamis, landslides, volcanoes, floods, cyclones, droughts. These natural hazards can turn into disasters if we are not well prepared. Over the last 20 years, disasters have claimed more than 1.35 million lives and displaced around 4 billion people from their homes. Water-related disasters accounted for 90% of the most severe disasters that have occurred since 1990, while earthquakes and tsunamis caused around 60% of fatalities. UNESCO supports its member states in building more resilient societies through the implementation of international agreements such as the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction and the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. UNESCO's efforts in disaster risk reduction particularly contribute to its global priorities, Africa and small island developing states. Science, technology and innovation enable us to understand the risks we face and provide relevant solutions. UNESCO uses Earth observation and crowdsource data for hazard mapping and forecasting at local level, making it publicly available. This also includes citizen science, participatory research and local and indigenous knowledge. Technology also enables informing people in advance about an impending hazard, saving lives and reducing damages. UNESCO supports the strengthening of countries' capabilities in establishing, maintaining and improving early warning systems on tsunamis, floods, droughts and earthquakes. During earthquakes, collapsing structures are responsible for 80% of casualties. This is why UNESCO supports countries with better building codes and building control policies in order to ensure safer construction. School buildings are particularly important so that learning continuity is assured and children are protected from disaster risk. UNESCO supports countries securing learning facilities, developing school disaster management and improving education for disaster risk reduction. Disasters affect culture in all its forms. This includes tangible and intangible heritage, the cultural and creative economy, and UNESCO-designated sites. However, all of these can also be used as a tool to address the underlying risk drivers and to support societies in preparing and responding for the impacts of disasters. Hazards are common in the natural world. UNESCO promotes the use of nature-based solutions, such as investing in soil and habitat restoration to reduce disaster risk and facilitate recovery. In the aftermath of a disaster, and together with other UN agencies and international partners, UNESCO assists countries in the post-disaster response by assessing damage and losses and in identifying recovery and reconstruction needs. To ensure the success of all these actions, it is key to engage every stakeholder in disaster risk reduction, creating healthy and safe communities. UNESCO promotes civil society engagement, such as youth and gender in DRR planning and implementation. With these global actions, UNESCO, through its sectors and field offices, and together with its network of partners and experts, helps societies to anticipate and cope with disasters, while contributing to the global efforts of the United Nations system to accelerate action towards reaching the Sustainable Development Goals.